Eight to four lead for the Buckeyes. Four minutes, 18 left to go. Quarter number one. And what is a pivotal matchup? As if the Buckeyes win this game, they move up to third place in the conference. If Athens wins this one, they stay in third place with opportunities to get to second place and really keep themselves in contention for a chance to win the conference. Leo Martin, open three from the right wing. No good off the back iron. Zachariah Mullins, the six foot four sophomore, gets the offensive rebound for Athens, so they maintain possession. A kick out to Hayden Hughes and then back to Zachariah Mullins in the high post. And then over to the right side to Luke Mullins working around the perimeter the Bulldogs are against this man-to-man -man defensive approach from the Buckeyes. Mullins working inside a foul called on the floor. And that one will go against Keegan Swope. That is his first foul. And that is the fourth foul against Nelsonville York. So if Athens is fouled again, unless it's an offensive foul by Nelsonville York, they go to the free throw line. The inbound attempt goes to Luke Mullins. It's way back on the Bulldogs' defensive side of the floor. And now they work it back onto the offensive end. Luke Mullins looking for a passing outlet as he lost his dribble. Gets to Leo Martin on the left wing. Hayden Hughes with the jab step inside. And now finds Luke Mullins in the post. Mullins drives against Andrew Connor. Puts up a layup. And it is good. Bulldogs starting to find themselves a little bit of a rhythm here. They're down just 8-6 to six after trailing 6 to nothing. moments ago. Swope with the deep three. Air ball. No good. And that gets the ball right back to the Bulldogs as Athens, they're making their presence known as well, making the air ball chance happen. With it being such a close game in terms of proximity, the Bulldogs student section is out here in droves too, but Sam Trainer, right after getting it, turns over the ball to Keegan Swope, who averages four steals per game. He picks up his first one of the day, drives to the rim, and is fouled, so he'll head to the free throw line. That is the second foul against Sam Trainer, so he may have to take a seat. 3.06 left to go in the first quarter. 8-6 to six lead for the Buckeyes. And Keegan Swope looking to add to it. Swope's first free throw is up, and it is true. Buckeyes are on a five-game win streak. One of the hottest teams in the TVC, Ohio. Only team with a bigger win streak is the Megs Marauders, who have won eight in a row. Swope at the free throw line. Second free throws up. No good. Off the side of the rim. And rebound to Zachariah Mullins. So Swope splits the free throws. And Luke Mullins fires a three from the right corner. And he's got it. We're all tied up now in Bookdale after Luke Mullins drills the three-pointer. The first three-point bucket of the day for the Bulldogs. And now it's starting to sound like a home game in McAfee Gymnasium with the way the student section is making noise. Two minutes, 40 seconds left to go, quarter number one. And now an inside pass goes to Thompson. Thompson has the ball stolen. Marshall McCammon dribbling it down the floor, finds Hayden Hughes, and he is fouled. That foul goes against Cameron Sullivan, the freshman. And this crowd is now irate after that foul call. That's the fifth foul against Nelsonville York in the quarter. There's been eight combined fouls. Two minutes, 31 left to go. Quarter number one, we're tied up at nine. And here comes Hayden Hughes for the free throws. First free throws up, and it is good. I've really liked what I've seen from Hughes over the last few games. 5'11 sophomore with a really great future. And that's a great free throw shot. His second free throw falls. He went two for two. And the Bulldogs have their first lead of the day, 11-9 over Nelsonville, York. Andrew Connor checks out of the game for the Buckeyes. And Bean Martin into the game for the first time for the Buckeyes. Keegan Swope dribbling it down the floor. The zone defense converges on Swope, but he gets it off to Martin. And then a oh, long pass over to the other side of the floor to Landon Inman. Inman in into Swope. Swope drives through the lane, tries to lay it in. No good. And a great rebound by Athens. They try to go up the floor quickly. Hughes saves it from going out of bounds, but turns the ball over nevertheless. Now Nelsonville York, quick tempo. Keegan Swope tried to go for a layup against Mullins and had the ball knocked away, but a foul called. This one will go against Mullins. And this will send Swope back to the free throw line. He's been great at drawing fouls. Actually, never mind. They won't say it's a shooting foul. They'll give an inbound instead to the Buckeyes. The inbounder, this call, gets it off to Inman at the right wing, starts his dribble and works his way back to midcourt. And then Alec Thompson had it. As the Buckeyes working around this perimeter here. Inman thought about a three, then instead gets it back off to Thompson. 
Players passing him back and forth. Now Swope, Swope with a nice inside feed to turning Alec Thompson, who drove through the paint. He's got the layup to fall, 11-11. to What a great game. Back and forth we go between Athens and Nelsonville, York. Battle for third place in the TVC Ohio. Zach Mullins lets a two-pointer go from mid-range. No good, but he's fouled hard to the floor by Cameron Sullivan. And Mullins will head to the free throw line. Very physical game, to say the least. Nine combined fouls in just one quarter of play. Minute 33 left to go. Quarter one, 11 to 11. Make it 12 to 11 after Zach Mullins nails the free throw. Bryant Call checks into the game for Cameron Sullivan for the Buckeyes. Easton Newsom checks into the game for Sam Trainer for the Bulldogs. Mullins' second free throw is up and good. Bulldogs, four for four from the charity strike. 13 to 11 lead for the green and gold. Here's Keegan Swope, gets it over to Inman. Inman inside to Call. Call with a mid-ranger from the corner, no good. And the rebound goes to Newsom. For Athens, got a minute and 16 seconds to work with. Mullins with the pass out to Martin. Martin gets a nice screen from Mullins, then finds Newsom. Fumbled with the ball for a little bit, now starts his dribble, working against Keegan Swope. Man-to-man -man defense from Nelsonville, York. Newsom goes right at Swope, finds Leo Martin, who was left all alone. Mid-ranger from the elbow. Nothing but net. Bulldogs with their largest lead of the day, 15-11. to McCammon playing defense against Swope here. 45 seconds left to go. Buckeyes find a great pass inside, and it's Call who lays it in right at the rim from the left block. 15-13 is the lead for Athens. McCammon. Gets fouled hard by Green Martin. And that's the sixth foul against the Buckeyes. Reminder that the new rule change for the OHSAA. Fouls do reset between quarters. However, the bonus zone is now after four fouls. And once you get your fifth, you head to the free throw line. First free throw is up and good. Athens, five for five, make it now five for six after a miss from McCammon. 16 to 13 lead for Athens and a quick pass inside to Alec Thompson. What a feed there by Keegan Swope. 20 seconds left to go, 16 to 15 here in the first quarter. Athens up by one, McCammon. With the basketball, 15 seconds to go. Gets it to Leo Martin on the right wing. Martin to Newsom's. Got to make a play. 10 seconds, 9 seconds, and it's stolen. The second steal of the day for Keegan Swope. He's got 6 seconds, 5 seconds. Loses the basketball. McCammon tries to cover, and it's a jump ball. With 3 and 6 tenths of a second left. After the loose ball, Nelsonville York has possession after the jump ball. The inbound goes quickly. Three from Call, and it's nothing but net. Buzzer beater three from Bryant Call. The six foot three junior gives the Buckeyes an 18 to 16 lead as we head into quarter number two. Exciting action here in TVC Ohio play. We're just warming up. Nelsonville, York 18, Athens 16. You're listening to Bulldog Basketball on 970 WATH. 